What would you do if you had to cook from scratch for a couple months without a stove, running water, multiple pots and pans? Could you survive? So this summer, my husband and I built ourselves a tiny house, which is where we are right now. It's not completely finished, as you can see by the, the drawers he's still working on. Um, but this summer, I literally lived on the bare minimum for cooking. I still cooked from scratch, but I didn't have um, I didn't have very much to use at all. Um, we didn't have hot water. We didn't have running water at one point out at the house, but we wanted to live there so we could work on the house. So I wanted to show you um, basically all that I used to cook for a couple months um, and just show you what you can get by on if you use your imagination. And yeah. So as you can see, we have a nice kitchen here. It's coming together. Um, we're putting doors on some of the cabinets and some drawers down here. And I have a stove and a sink, but this summer I did not. So here's basically all that I used. I had one mixing bowl with a lid that came on and off, which was really nice. Um, I had this pan. It's, I think, one and a half quarts or two quarts. I had a big stock pot. I had an 8x8 glass di baking dish and this little uh, aluminum pan. I had three measuring cups, one cup, a third cup, and a fourth a cup. I didn't even have a half cup one because I didn't want that much um, extra things cluttering up my kitchen. I had two knives, two little measuring spoons, one tablespoon, and one teaspoon. I like this type because they fit inside of spice jars with the narrow, the narrow necks. Um, I had two pot holders that I made when I was younger. I had a crock pot, it's being used right now. I had a spatula, uh, mason jars. I had um, quite a few of these, but I had lids, which were awesome. Those you can put leftovers, soup, broth, water. We use them as drinking glasses as well. I had one, just one. Um, frying pan. This is cast iron. I love it very much. I think it's a 9 inch? Maybe bigger than that. Maybe 10. And then I had tongs, very handy, and can opener. And this spatula scraper thing. I love this. I use it multiple times a day for the cast iron and anything else that I need to dish out. Um, and then just a few Pyrex containers, different sizes and different lids for those. I had um, some of these silicone lids for my um, anything that I needed a lid for, these will suction on, and see, those are cool. And I had a cutting board, but that was, that was it for my summer, and it worked out pretty well. We didn't starve. I wasn't super stressed out. I actually did my dishes outside at the water tap. A lot of times and then once we got a shower inside um, I used the bathtub to wash my dishes and I had a little electric burner um, to cook things on and I had a, uh, I didn't have a stove so I used the electric burner and also a toaster oven and the crock pot. I consider those few months that we spent um, kind of camping out here with just my minimal little kitchen supplies um, to be like my little little house on the prairie experience uh, just doing with what I had. And it was it was really cool. I learned a lot. Um, like, you don't need a cheese grater. Just cut your cheese up in little pieces if you need to. I'm still using that creativity today. Um, like, literally today, I was supposed to use ground coriander in a recipe, and I had just the whole coriander little cloves. Um, and I didn't, I don't have, like, a coffee grinder or a spice grinder, so I put some of those whole, whole corianders in a in a glass bowl and I used a little tiny mason jar as my mortar and pestle and I like I I crushed it and so I kind of ground it up it didn't it wasn't very fine but um that was the kind of thinking that I had to use this summer and I'm still using today and it's it's useful like you don't need a mortar and pestle I don't oh, I don't need a mortar and pestle you might but yeah so be creative use what you have and do without some things. Just see if you can see if you can live like that. You might actually like it. I enjoyed it. Let me know in the comments if you have any creative things you've had to do in your kitchen um, or ways you've had to make do when you don't have a lot of supplies. 
and stay tuned next Thursday. Today's Thursday. Stay tuned next Thursday for another video. And remember, work hard, love your people, and keep learning.